Some people are huge fans of Nigel Farage. Others, not so keen. The fact is, we're fighting a national election campaign here on the issue. <laughs> To be honest, I'm with him. I'm baffled that UKIP are doing so well. They don't have any policies. What do UKIP stand for, other than writing the words piss off on the White Cliffs of Dover? Well, I did a bit of research, and here are some of the things that their members have championed in the past. Handguns should be legalised. All disabled babies should be aborted. Schools should bring back the cane. And the NHS should spend money on helping homosexuals become straight. <laughs> The People's Army! <laughs> what are they saying? The NHS should cure homosexuality? Being gay isn't a disease. What are they going to do? Hold a pair of tits in front of them like the opticians? <laughs> are you horny now? <laughs> and now? <laughs> what about now? <laughs> because the reason nobody knows what UKIP stand for is because all you see Nigel Farage doing is this. Now, Nigel Farage might have allowed himself a celebratory pint. He's a guy who likes to go to the pub. The bloke in the saloon bar. The cheeky chap in the pub. The guy they like to have a drink with in the pub. Drinking beer, smoking cigarettes. It's no great secret that I quite like a drink. <laughs> Why would you want him in power? I don't want a man down the pub running the country. I want a man who says, I'm sorry, I can't come down the pub. I'm running the f***ing country. <laughs> I mean, do you really want a bloke down the pub in charge? Down it! Down it! That's how many hospitals we're going to build. Yuki, ah! 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 we're drinkers, not thinkers. <laughs> Let's be honest, it's got nothing to do with change. We all know the reason why people vote Yuki. Politicians, well, most of them are, are, are liars. We are getting scam in this country. We're fed up with Tories and the Labour people. No control over immigration. Vote for a new party. Immigration is a concern. The others are fapping about. Because of immigration. I can't get a job. If I yeah. paint myself black or talk in a foreign language, I might get a job. <laughs> I'm not so sure you will. <laughs> Mind you, not everyone is affected by the fear-mongering talk of immigration. Did you see the wonderful answer that this kid gave? You're fine with having a mate from yeah. Poland, yeah. Bulgaria? No problem with that. No problem? Yeah. Uh, what do you say to a guy in Westminster in the House of Commons who says it is a problem? I say no need to buck up. <laughs> <laughs> I salute you, you little legend. And in case you didn't think the election was bleak enough, Donald Trump waded in. Donald Trump got involved in UK politics today. He spoke at length earlier on with the Brexit Party leader, Nigel Farage, on Mr Farage's LBC radio show. I'd like to see you and Boris get together. Nobody <laughs> wants Boris and Farage. They go together like tequila and driving. <laughs> that would be the worst collaboration ever. Well, not ever. The point I'm making, people... <laughs> the point I'm making... <laughs> oh, is that not a bad collaboration? <laughs> the point I'm making, people in this country don't want Trump's input. We made our feelings perfectly clear last time. <laughs> <laughs> and this wasn't... Yeah, ordinary, that would be a round of applause, but, you know, people got spooked by the Elpido bit. But... <laughs> and you're probably thinking I'll take that out. Oh, f no. Um, <laughs> Great, that is a bad collaboration, unless, <laughs> unless you're all going, hey, those are good, Peter. <laughs> and some of our finest. <laughs> <laughs> and this wasn't a quick chat. They spoke for half an hour, and some of it was bad. I have a magic wand. I could deal with it very easily. All I have to do is uh, a certain step, and they'll be coming. And I always thought you had a little bit of a magic wand, too, but they never used it. You know what I'm talking about. I do. We don't. I got a magic wand. You got a magic wand. Let's go Harry Potter world. <laughs> yeah, it's good for kids and adults. They have 3D quidditch. <laughs> a spat, as I said, quidditch there. Now, some people were saying it was the greatest moment of Farage's radio career. Nah. I prefer this. I, I, I'm uh, immensely um, grateful to you for everything you've done in British politics over the last few years. Uh, I used to be a...
an ardent Remain. I voted Remain. I believed in the European project. Mm -hmm. uh, I believed that staying in the European Union was the best thing for us. And then something happened and something monumental happened. I, it completely changed my, my opinion on, on the, the whole situation. What, uh, what was that monumental thing, Mark? I, I was kicked in the head by a horse. Right, very good. OK, fine. Now, finally this week, two old friends got back together. Donald Trump was interviewed by Nigel Farage on GB News. <laughs> it was completely pointless, but <laughs> one thing I noticed, it got pretty steamy. Good to see you. You and I could talk all day. Yeah. So I have a lot of things to say, and sometimes I want to say them, and sometimes I don't feel it's appropriate to say them. You're looking fit. If you say so, that's OK with me. <laughs> I think I'm getting bigger in many different ways. How big is it here? Things are happening. I absolutely want it. I understand that. I couldn't believe the scale of it. It's so disgusting to look at it. Well, I love everything about it. Begging for oil. Absolutely. Begging for oil. Yeah, 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 yeah. And it's hitting you, too. You're fit. It's a disgrace. Yeah. And while we're here, you know what an anagram of Nigel Farage's? Anal fire egg. <laughs> if we reduce immigration, there's going to be millions of jobs to fill. Don't worry, though, our Home Secretary, Priti Patel, has the answer. There are 8.45 million British people in the United Kingdom that are economically inactive. Which is genius, until you realise that of the 8.45 million, 27% are students, 26% are long-term sick, 22% are carers, and 13% are fucking retired. <laughs> I know you're 75, Deirdre, but the roof needs retiling. <laughs> Quick, Edith, a criminal, I'm on it. We need immigrants. Not only do they work their bollocks off, but EU migrant workers contribute £2,300 more per year to UK than average British citizen. And think of the way they enrich our culture, food, music, literature, sport. If we got rid of foreign workers, the Premier League would just be three blokes and a pie. <laughs> this country is rooted in embracing other cultures. Royal family, German. <laughs> Democracy, Greek. Tea, Chinese. <laughs> St. George, Turkish. The people who control our elections, Russian. <laughs> if, if we remove foreign culture, what have we got left? One chinless weirdo mumbling in a suit. This prick. 